We are back with Sherry, who lost her place in line for a kidney transplant because of her vaccination status. Joining us now is infectious disease expert, Dr. Brad Spellberg. Welcome back to the show, Dr. Spellberg. Brad, so good to see you. Good to see you, Dr. Orton. You know, Dr. Spellberg, why do you say that people who are immunocompromised or have Lyme disease like Sherry should absolutely get the vaccine? Well, the Lyme disease is really a red herring. That's a distractor. What we are talking about are two separate things, autoimmune disease and immunocompromise. Those are not the same things. Autoimmune disease is when your immune system attacks your own body. Immunocompromise is when you have a weakened immune system. We know unequivocally that people who are immunocompromised and dialysis patients absolutely count in that have a much greater chance of dying from this virus when they acquire it. So they are actually the people who need the vaccination the most. There you go. And, and why do you say it's, cr it's crucial to be vaccinated before someone gets an organ transplant like Sherry and her kidney? Yeah. So there's a couple of ethical and medical principles here that are really uh, paramount. And the reason that more and more transplant centers are requiring vaccination. There are more people who need transplants than there are organs available. When you get a transplant, you, be, you may think you're immunocompromised before the transplant. You're going to be much more immunocompromised after because we have to suppress your immune system so you don't reject the transplant. If you get COVID, when you're taking those immunosuppressive medications, you're toast. That is a terrible combination of events to have happen. And so that means that we've given an organ to someone who is at extremely high risk of bad outcome. And we've also deprived other people who are awaiting organs, that organ who might have done much better. And Brad, I mean, you know, you're a UCLA professor and you're an expert in your, your field. In your mind, what, what are the true contraindications that in your mind, scientifically, there's proof that probably getting the vaccine uh, is not a good idea. And I'm guessing from what I'm hearing from you, Brad, is that it's a pretty short list. It's a very short list. There's really only one conclusive contraindication, and that is having a severe allergic reaction to that specific vaccine in the past. Having an allergic reaction to another vaccine is not predictive. There may be a soft one. If you uh, have um, inability to clot and we inject something into your muscle, you might have a bleeding injury. So there might be a soft one or two, but the real risk really is allergic reaction to that vaccine in the past and not much else. 